All right, people. So something not talked about too much about this Ohio State stabbing, this this total, uh, uh, you know, radical pretty much. I mean, it, it looks like Islamic State took a, a, a responsibility. So there you go, people. I mean, this is the problem of Islamic terror, which will keep getting worse if we don't secure our borders. So thank God Donald Trump got in. But, but anyway, this guy, you know, again, the attack took place where? Oh, on a gun-free zone. You know, that, there you go. So, but but thank God they had a police officer there who who shot the guy dead. And um, but you know, think about it. If that police officer, the police officer was like a minute away from the guy, so. Luckily, he was able to shoot the guy. Think of the police. What what would happen if the police officer was like five or ten minutes away? And that's why we need the Second Amendment because the police will not always be there to take the to take the uh, the, the the violent person out, to take the wacko out. You know, but luckily the police officer was a minute away, and there you go. There's your there's guns. You know, doing something good. Um, so he he was able to shoot the guy and kill him. Thank God before any more damage was done. I mean, unfortunately, I was saddened to see, you know, uh, uh, one person die. That's always, you know, a shame. You know, when you see injuries, you're like, well, you know, most injuries uh, can be recovered, you know, and people could go on living their lives. Obviously, there will, there will be psychological damage from that. I mean, I can't imagine. Um, but when you, when you see somebody die, I mean, it really saddens you and like, oh, shit, you know, I, you know. But, but like I said, if the police officer was not by... Um, this could have been much worse. There could have been a lot more people stabbed. There could have been a lot more people injured. This guy could have been on the loose for, uh, you know, possibly five or ten more minutes, which could have been, you know, could have made the situation a lot worse. And, and like I said, where did this take place? Oh, a gun-free zone. You know, it's just a coincidence that all, you know, that, that college campuses are like a fucking safe haven for people who want to shoot and kill people for crazies. You know, why are these attacks, you know, why do attacks happen on, on college campuses? Why are they happening on, on campuses, which are most of them gun-free zones where you can't, you know, in Ohio law says that you cannot carry a gun. Even if you have a concealed and carry, you cannot carry a gun on a, uh, on a campus, public or private. Uh, so once again, people... And so what, what will the liberals say? The, you know, uh, us conservatives who are pro-Second Amendment or, or libertarians who are pro-Second Amendment will say, you know, having gun-free zones is a terrible idea because many of these attacks, these mass shootings that the liberals say, you know, is proof we need more gun control. It happened on gun-free zones. So you're, you're already having a gun-free zone. Maybe that's just, maybe we should look at that. You know, the, the small percentage of America that is the gun-free zones, that's where most of these mass shootings are happening. So maybe we need to change in those laws, not a more strict gun more strict gun control, because we already have pretty strict gun control laws if you compare the, the gun control laws we have to the Second Amendment now. I mean, many of these state laws violate the Second Amendment, in my opinion. So... So what is the solution? In my opinion, it's to make uh, campuses uh, Second Amendment zones or just have the normal law apply to the camp. I mean, why do college campuses campuses have to be gun-free? The argument is, oh, you know, there could be a mass shooting. Well, there already are mass shootings. And um, if somebody wants to kill a person, kill people, are they going to pay attention pay attention to the law that says, oh, no guns here? Well, yes, you're going to pay attention to it, but not in the sense that the liberals want them to. They're not going to say, oh, there's no guns allowed here. I better go shoot somebody where there's gu guns allowed. No, I, I mean, they're not going to. If they're willing to kill people, they're, they're not going to follow a petty, unconstitutional law prohibiting guns in, 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 in that place. They're going to be, oh, fuck, there's not going to be any guns here because people, you know, most law-abiding citizens follow the law and aren't going to bring guns here. So this is actually a pretty safe place to kill people and get the most damage, kill the most people. I mean, so the logic that having no guns at college campuses will, will prevent, you know, shootings is, is totally preposterous. It's actually the other way around. People are going to be more adapt to come there and shoot people. I, I mean, I just... Uh, I just don't understand the thinking there. It's totally illogical. To, to, and like I said, gun-free gun zones are where the mass shootings occur for the most part. Because the shooters know that when they go into these gun-free zones, there's not going to be anybody there with a gun that could take them out. 
Um, but that's what I'm saying. So it was very lucky that we had a police officer right by. Uh, and a lot of times, again, there's not a police officer right by to uh, to take out the assailant. There's not a police officer. Sometimes they take 5, 10 minutes to, to 15 minutes to, to respond to the call. So it, it would help greatly if there was a law-abiding citizen with a concealed and carry there to possibly take the guy out before he could kill all the people. Um, I mean, that, that can't hurt. I mean, it, it can't hurt to have somebody there who could possibly take him out. I mean, is every time somebody going to take out the shooter? No, but it helps. I mean, it will ha definitely, definitely help to have the chance of taking that shooter out. And just the notion that these crazies will know that when they go into these places, they will have a great, a greater possibility of being taken out will, will deter them from going to college campuses and shooting everybody or stabbing everybody in this case. So it's very illogical to have a, a gun ban on, on college campuses or really anywhere for that matter. I mean, I mean obviously, you know, you, you got to make sure, you know, you, you know, around like if, if Trump is speaking somewhere, you got to have... You know security with that i mean I, I understand that but when it comes to college campuses and, and other places it's totally illogical and, and, and these liberals really got to get their facts straight and really got to look at what they're pushing because what they're pushing i mean it's it's just totally it doesn't make any sense whatsoever so so we have to you know uh have a uh, less gun control at, at college campuses and other free uh or other um yeah, gun free zones because this only creates more uh, shit it only leads to more gun shootings because like I said people who want to kill a lot of people are going to go in, into these gun free zones because they know people will be unarmed there so there you go people uh, you know we got to push for uh, less gun control less strict gun control uh, you know, more more free and, uh, you know, people have to use their Second Amendment rights for, for good. And that is to take out the criminals before they kill a bunch of people. So there you go, people.